Tonight, we bring you a story that could reshape the global economy and international power dynamics. Deep beneath the volcanic soil of the Philippines, a discovery has sent shockwaves through the technology and defense sectors, rare earth elements. These critical ingredients power everything from smartphones to advanced fighter jets. But this is more than a mining story. It's about a nation's transformation and the future of global supply chains. For decades, China has dominated the rare earth market, giving Beijing immense leverage and creating vulnerabilities for the US and its allies. Now, the Philippines, a nation of over 7,000 islands, is sitting on what experts call a jackpot, valued in the hundreds of billions of dollars. This could position the Philippines as a new critical player, altering the balance of economic and military power. The discovery comes as global tensions rise and demand for green technology skyrockets. It offers a potential alternative to reliance on a single source, but also presents the Philippines with a monumental challenge. Can it harness this wealth responsibly? The stakes could not be higher. We'll explore what rare earths are, the details of this massive find, and the economic and geopolitical implications for the Philippines and the world. This is about power, prosperity, and the future of our planet. The world is watching Manila tonight. What exactly are rare earth elements? Despite the name, they're not especially rare, but they're rarely found in concentrations high enough for profitable mining. This group of 17 metallic elements includes names like neodymium, lanthanum, and yttrium, the unsung heroes of our high-tech lives. Their unique properties make modern technology possible from the magnets in your phone to the colors on your screen, but their importance goes far beyond consumer electronics. They're critical for national defense. Advanced guidance systems, drones, radar, and sonar all rely on rare earths. Without them, military capabilities would be severely hampered. The U.S. once led production, but in the 1980s and 90s, China invested heavily, using lower costs and lax regulations to dominate the market. By the early 2000s, China controlled over 80% of global production and refining. This concentration of power has made world leaders uneasy. China has used its dominance as a political weapon, halting exports to Japan in 2010 and causing global panic. That event was a wake-up call, sparking a global search for new reliable sources. Now that search has led to the Philippines poised to break China's monopoly. The world's supply chains may never be the same, the stakes are enormous. The Philippines is no stranger to mineral wealth, with rich deposits of gold, copper, nickel, and chromite. Mining has long been part of the economy, from small-scale operations to multinational corporations. The country is a top producer of nickel, vital for electric vehicle batteries. But mining's legacy is mixed, it's brought jobs and revenue but also environmental disasters and social conflict. Catastrophic spills have polluted rivers and displaced communities, fueling a powerful anti-mining movement. Political attitudes have swung between crackdowns and support. A moratorium on new mining permits once stalled the industry scaring off investors. Recently the government has shifted to a more pro-mining stance, lifting the ban and seeking responsible investment. This new climate set the stage for the rare earth discovery. The Philippines now faces a monumental task. Can it avoid the mistakes of the past? The world is watching. The official announcement came from Manila. A massive world-class deposit of rare earth elements has been confirmed. The environment secretary declared, today marks a new chapter for the Philippines. The find is concentrated in the central region with significant quantities of neodymium and dysprosium critical for electric vehicles and wind turbines. Early estimates suggest over 2 million metric tons of recoverable reserves, making it one of the largest deposits outside China. The raw ore's market value is over $400 billion, or more than 23 trillion Philippine pesos. The government aims to build a complete domestic supply chain, not just export raw ore. The discovery resulted from a joint venture between a Philippine mining firm and an Australian exploration company, initially searching for copper. Advanced imaging revealed unusual formations, core samples confirmed high-grade rare earth oxides. Secrecy was intense, given the geopolitical and economic stakes. This is a game-changer for the Philippines and the world. The next steps will determine the nation's future. The world is watching closely. The epicenter of this discovery lies in a rugged mountainous region of the Visayas, long overlooked for major mining. The terrain is challenging with dense forests and steep slopes, logistical hurdles for extraction and infrastructure. The rare earths are in ion adsorption clay deposits, similar to those in southern China. While concentrations are lower than hard rock mines, extraction is often easier and cheaper. 
This discovery vaults the Philippines into the top tier of rare earth producers. Global reserve charts will need to be redrawn. The area is home to indigenous communities with ancestral claims and a delicate ecosystem with endemic species. The government promises any development will require free, prior and informed consent from local communities. But the promise of wealth brings pressure. Balancing local rights, environmental protection, and national interests will be a critical challenge. The world is watching how the Philippines handles this responsibility. The stakes are high for people and planet. The economic impact could be revolutionary. A resource worth hundreds of billions could transform the Philippines. Foreign investment in mines and processing could create thousands of high-paying jobs across multiple sectors. The government is considering a sovereign wealth fund to manage revenue for future generations. Investments could modernize infrastructure, expand internet access, and improve education and healthcare. But economists warn of the resource curse, corruption, inequality, and neglect of other sectors. A sudden influx of foreign currency could hurt other exports, requiring careful economic management. Socially, the promise of jobs could bring hope, but also migration, social friction, and strain on local services. The government must ensure benefits are shared equitably, avoiding the creation of a wealthy elite. The challenge, turn this windfall into lasting, inclusive prosperity. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can rise to the occasion. The stakes are generational. This discovery lands in the heart of US-China rivalry. For Washington, it's a game changer, an ally with a massive new supply of critical minerals. Expect a surge of US diplomatic and economic engagement to secure access. For Beijing, it's a direct challenge to its rare earth dominance and regional influence. China may try to invest in Philippine projects or use market power to depress prices. U.S. allies like Japan, South Korea, and the EU will seek partnerships, aiming to diversify supply chains. This could forge a coalition to build a more resilient, secure supply of critical minerals. The Philippines' strategic importance rises, with security of mining sites a top priority. Enhanced security cooperation and joint exercises may follow. The rare earth jackpot raises the stakes for Indo-Pacific stability. The world's eyes are on Manila. The biggest immediate challenge is environmental. Rare earth extraction is notoriously dirty. Leaching chemicals can pollute water and soil. Past mining disasters haunt the Philippines, fueling public skepticism. Environmental groups demand transparency and the highest global standards. The pressure to extract quickly will be immense, but cutting corners could be disastrous. Modern technologies offer hope closed loop systems can recycle water and chemicals, and advanced tailings management can prevent contamination. The Philippines could become a model for green mining, but only with strong regulation and investment. The nation stands at a crossroads immense wealth or irreparable damage. The challenge is to balance economic gain with environmental and social justice. These rare earths are essential for green energy, but their extraction must not destroy the environment. The world is watching to see which path the Philippines will choose. The stakes are nothing less than the future. The discovery of a world-class rare earth deposit in the Philippines is a seismic event. It could enrich a nation, rebalance global power, and reshape technology and energy's future. But this is no simple story of buried treasure, it's fraught with risk. The resource curse, environmental challenges, and geopolitical pressures loom large. The government must navigate these waters with wisdom, transparency, and a commitment to its people and environment. As Dr. Alina Reyes put it, the Philippines has been handed a winning lottery ticket, but cashing it correctly is the hardest part. National unity and good governance will be tested. The world is not just watching, it's waiting to partner, invest, and see if the Philippines can anchor the world's critical supply chain. The story is just beginning. Decisions made in Manila, Washington, and Beijing will echo for generations. The challenge turned this geological jackpot into a genuine human triumph. The call is for responsible stewardship, international partnership, and a commitment to a better, more equitable world. The future is being unearthed, right now, in the heart of the Philippines.